Hi, my name is Mendy Marsh. I'm the executive director and co-founder of Voice. I'm really excited to talk to you about tip sheet number 10 right here on feminist movement building. I'm super excited to do that also. I'm part of COFEM. I'm one of the um, early members of COFEM and it's dear to my heart. Um, feminist movement building is all about what Voice is trying to do or is doing. Um, we know that from the evidence that it's essential that feminist movements are the ones that really get work done on violence against women and girls, right? We know where they exist, there's greater opportunities and the better work done on violence against women and girls. Um, I don't know if people heard or have heard our colleague Mary Ellsberg speak about this, but Nicaragua is a great example of how they, there was a huge women's movement that was created and really made massive changes for women and girls, and in, especially around having laws and policies that would protect them from violence. And sadly now we're seeing a backlash, right? With all of the political freedoms being erased in Nicaragua, we're seeing a severe funding decrease, right? In the feminist movement building, which also means women can't get services, they can't get protection orders, they're more likely to be killed or hurt by their partners. And so it's just another example of how essential feminist movement building is. Voice, for example, wants to work with young movements of women and girls. We want to make sure that they're in the driver's seat, that they're in the room when life-saving decisions are made on their behalves. And we know that movement building is the way that we'll do that. So we are working on identifying women and girl groups around the world that we can work with directly. Because our, our vision is that we will be able to send a team of female experts to work directly with women and girl networks and organizations and movements, right? So that we can f figure out how to get capital to them so that we can figure out what are the challenges that they face in order, in order to access more money and more funds so that they can build greater movements, so that they can have more of a voice in speaking up and out about violence against them. Look at the tip sheet number 10. I'm excited for you to learn about it.